Today, we're gonna be designing 3D shoes in Blender. I have done this once before where I created these cute frog like space shoes and then I also created these beautiful star shoes and I just really loved the whole process of it. So today I'm wanting to create some slides, some sneakers and maybe like another pair of sneakers as well. So maybe like three pairs of shoes. So I think we jump straight into Blender. So here we are in Blender doing the first pair of shoes and we are going for like a kind of jandly type of shoe, like a beach shoe, something that Lilo from Lilo and Stitch would wear. So it's looking a little uh, rectangle at the moment, but I do end up fixing this. I just started out with a regular cube and then extruding it up. Here I am trying to work out how I actually want to do the bit that your foot like goes through that holds the, the shoe to your foot. So I played around with a couple ideas of this, but they just weren't really working out that well. Then I decided to repeat a cylinder around a circle to give this half circle look so we could actually get the shoe. I do end up changing it. It currently has like two little pieces. I do end up changing it to one. It looked a little bit funny. I am just going into remake the base of it because the base of it was a very very rectangle and I just didn't know how to fix it and then I just wanted to give the bottom of the shoe a little bit more like texture to it so I gave it a little bit of grip. Here I am going in to make the flowers which I'm going to put in in the middle of the shoes to just make them look very cute very beachy and just oh, I love them. Now I'm just placing them around and they're very basic shoes these I think took me like 35 minutes to get all together uh, but I really like them and I made the lighting pink as well just because I thought it would look very cute and I'm really happy with the outcome of these. So the second pair of shoes was a little bit of a pain to make but I did a similar technique. I started out with a cube, added in a subdivision modifier to it, deleted the top face and then started extruding up so that I could actually make it into more of a sneaker look. So as you can see there I'm just trying to like make the shape of it and model it out. Now I went in to pull in all those vertices so it gives more of a shoe look and you can actually see where your foot needs to go into. I played around with this for quite a long time, playing around with the vertices, adding in more vertices, making them aligned, pulling them around, leading them and now looking back the shoe is so wide like you would have to have such a small little foot and such a wide little foot to fit into these but I do fix that just a little bit at the end because after I render it all I was just like it just doesn't look good so I do fix it. I'm going in to make the front of the shoe the kick of the shoe I don't know what the front part is called but here I am just making it. When I duplicated it out it had like those extra little vertices so I went in and used the knife tool so that I could actually round it out properly. Now I'm just playing around with the tongue of the shoe and just getting it in a really good position. I also went in and added like a little mushroom in the back. I just thought he would look very cute. So I made him more of a mushroom. Now I'm going in to add a little bit more dimension to the shoe, add in some more features of it. I just duplicated those faces at the front of the shoe just to make it look a little cooler. And then I also duplicated the sides of the shoes as well. And I just extruded them along the edges. I'm just going in to add in these like really cool flame looking shoe accessories to it as well. And then also some little dots on the bottom of this shoe, which I think are very, very cute. And then here I am going in to add in the shoelaces. So I just added in a bunch of circles and then applied a mirror modifier to them and then went in with a curve to make these shoelaces. And I've never made shoelaces like this before. And what I did was hide half of the vertices so that I could actually like turn around the vertices and then I unhid them by using old H and then did the other side of it. So you can see here like the left side was hid. So I couldn't edit them and then now it all looks good. I don't know if I explained that very well, but I'm very happy with how these shoelaces turned out. And I've been with them using a circle object and now you can see I'm just like editing them to make sure they're in the right place and I'm really happy with how these little shoelaces turned out I think they look very very cute and then I played with the tongue of the shoe as well this was the point where I was like this shoe is very wide and very short and very flat but I tried to make it work anyway so I was like trying to put a little like ankle in there or try and work out like how we're actually gonna finish this off in the end I went in to texturize everything and make it like this really cute pink color and then I also add in some purple shades as well but the end result actually looks different than this because I felt like it was really flat so I did end up adding in a bunch of texture at the end so the end product is a little different but I will show you that at the end of this video. So the next shoe I'm actually gonna model from the base shoe that I made last time so last time I made like a model that I could just always use if I wanted to make shoes so here we are with that and then I'm going to see where I take it. I'm wanting the bottom of this shoe to actually be like a glass look and now I'm just rounding it out a little bit so it looks more like a shoe. Played with some vertices I pulled out those back ones because I thought that looked really cool and then I wanted to make some more flowers so just arrayed some circles around another circle and then just placed them on the shoe just like that. 
and then I put them on the other side too and then shaded everything smooth I wanted to add in some really really cool like some socks to the top and I think they look really great I played around with the tongue of the shoe as well and made it more round then I went in to texturize everything I gave the bottom a glass look I do end up changing that shader though and then I gave the blue like a more like material textured look I gave the green more of like a turf look and then I do end up changing the tongue of the shoe because I think it looks ridiculous like that um, and then I bought in like the cotton material that I made a few weeks ago and I put it on the laces and then added a little gradient to it because I thought that looked very cute. At the moment the tongue of the shoe has an emission on it I do end up taking that off and actually making it look better but at the moment it's all looking very very cute. Then I went in to place it in my scene, play with all my lights, change my lights to blue because I don't want white lights. Then I realized that the glass wasn't really working properly and then I also changed the tongue of the shoe just to add a little bit more texture to it and make it look really rough so you can see how rough it is just there. I changed the bottom of the shoe to a translucent as well instead of a glass and I think it looks way better. It kind of has a jelly like glass like texture to it and I love it. Also changed the background to purple and this whole thing is looking so good and I cannot wait to show you what all of these shoes look like. Let me show you what the slides are looking like. Wow. And this is what the first pair of sneakers are looking like. Wow. And this is what my favorite pair of sneakers are looking like. Wow. I love them all so much. I think they're so cute. Let me know if there are any other sneakers you want me to design. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will now see you in the next video.